CJ Wyndham, uh, number 81. I play receiver here for the Steam Wheelers. Uh, first of all, I'm a man of God. Um, I'm from right outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, two younger siblings, two little sisters, and a pops, family like no other. Uh, went to Middle Tennessee State. Shout out Murfreesboro. Uh, I'm a guy that likes shoes. I feel like you, you'll never catch me with the same pair of shoes on. Uh, different pair of shoes day there every day. Love kicks, uh, love video games as well. Uh, play Call of Duty 2K, Madden, a little bit of everything. Um, I'm also a people person. Uh, I feel like a lot of times it catch me smiling, talking to a lot of different people. Um, there's not too many people I can't talk to. Love getting to interact with a lot of different people. And I love life, man, so. Where are you from and what do you love most about your hometown? Uh, from a little town right outside of Atlanta, Georgia called Powder Springs, Georgia. Uh, what I love most about my town is, is that it's, it's not too much going on, but it's not too country either. I uh, feel like you're probably like 15, 20 minutes from the city, so you know you can go and get whatever you need at any point in time. Uh, probably a little bit more traffic than you would like in most times, but uh, there's, there's nothing that you can't find in the city. Um, nothing that you that you can't get. Always people to communicate with, plenty of people there, plenty of people that are loving and caring, kind of like me, so that's why I love my town. What has been your favorite part about being a Quad City Steamler? Uh, my favorite part of being a Quad City Steamler since I've been up here definitely has to be uh, the, the fan base and the people up here, bro. There's so many people that care about what you do. They support you in a way, home game, it doesn't matter. I mean, these people come out, they show out. They, I mean, there's everything that you could ask for and more. Uh, the community is great. Uh, I'm big on food. <laughs> it's really not anything that you can't find to eat up here. Love that. And I love my teammates, man. I love the, the coaching staff, the camaraderie here. Like, it's a lot of people that, that care about winning. You know, it's a lot of people that care about you in particular. So, uh, definitely the, the community, uh, the camaraderie, food. I mean, it's just a lot of, a lot of things that you can't ask for up here. I love it up here, man. What is your own personal best sports memory? Best sports memory would have to come from uh, Middle Tennessee. Uh, my freshman year, got there playing ball. Uh, we got to go to a bowl game, won a few games, uh, went to Hawaii. So at the time, I'm like 17, 18, and you know, you get a chance to go to Hawaii, it's like, that's unbeatable. You know, just getting out there, the weather is insane, the uh, views are insane. It's just, it was just a blessing that we went through. So. Definitely my best sportsman. When it's time for some fun, which teammate are you calling? Uh, without a doubt, I gotta call my boy Malik Duncan. Call him Chubbs. <laughs> but yeah, he always gonna have a good time. But we always gonna have a good time. We we'll be lit, smiles, good vibes. But he gotta bring Coach Ross too. Coach Ross and I gotta have a good time too. So both of them, I'm calling Ross and Dunk for sure. <laughs> Outside of sports, who do you look up to and why? Uh, I don't think he knows as much. Uh, I think he knows that obviously I want to take after him a lot, but my pops, man, uh, uh, we lost our mother not too long ago, uh, the 2018, but uh, ever since then, he's been the strongest man that I've known. Uh, he's been the strongest man I've known kind of my entire life, but uh, just seeing how he reacted to that and you know carried on to continue to be strong for our family and do the things that he does on a daily basis. Man, I just think the world of that man. I got so much respect for him and what he does for me and my sisters on a daily basis that, I mean, bigger than ball in life, uh, that's the man that I want to 100% be. <laughs> he means the world to me. Love you, Pops. Outside of sports, what is most important to you? I think what's most important to me outside of sports is uh, surrounding yourself with, with people that are like-minded, that are kind of walking the same path as you. As you. Um, I like good energy. I like to be around people that, um, that kind of have the same heart as me. Uh, I think it's, it's very rare to come across uh, good people in the world, so it means a lot to me to be around people that care and support the way that I do, that, you know, Talk the way that I do, walk the way that I do. You know, want to smile, be happy at all times, because you know, life is short. You never know. You know, I feel like God has us here for a certain amount of time for a reason, and you know, it's, it's our job to go out here and be a blessing. So, I like to be around like-minded people and a lot of positive energy.
So after football, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, after ball, I feel like I have a, a lot of big plans. Obviously, uh, I speak highly about sneakers. Uh, I actually have a sneaker business I run with uh, my boy Christian Roberson. Uh, he's up in Charlotte, but you know we tag team that. Definitely want to make that a, a lot bigger than it is right now. Uh, I went to school for exercise science, graduate exercise science degree. I want to take that and run with that as well. Maybe be in the clinic, maybe use that in sports related, you know, help out a team maybe. Um, and then even outside of that, uh, just finding a lot of different uh, ways to, to get the revenue, man. I think I'm, I'm a hustler. I, I go and get it. So I definitely got a, a, a lot bigger plans uh, coming after ball. And, you know, I can't wait. <laughs> I don't want to hang up the cliche yet, but when it comes, I know God's got a lot of stuff for me there as well. So I'm excited about both. This has been your boy CJ Wyndham, a.k.a. Carl Jr. This year, we refuse to sink Squad City. Yeah.